hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to do a nail video these are the nails i was wearing for my birthday so please keep on watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel and let's just get started i am going in with the sally hansen cuticle um remover and using a cuticle pusher just to remove everything and take off all the unnecessary cuticle around my nails so we can have a banging nail look A cuticle color and just cut off all the cuticles that are popping up so again to make the nail look as clean as possible to get the outcome that we want so now I am going in with my e-file and I'm just buffing the nails to prep it for the next step so now we're going to go in with the tips I am going to just pick up my tips for all 10 nails and just make sure it fits sidewall to sidewall so we have no lifting and then I'm going to glue them down So now that I have all the tips glued on my nails, I'm going to cut them down to the length that I want them. I'm going to start off with a certain length and then I'll probably fix them after. But starting off with the length, I am going for a tapered squared look. So that's the nails that you guys see here of the length I'm going to go for. I'm going to do the other hand. So now I'm going to start shaping my nails to the taper squared look. It's pretty simple, just you know, make sure the sides are very straight, then knit it off with a square. So I'm gonna do that for all of my nails. So 
so I have my nails shaped as you guys can see here so now I am going to go in with my e-file and I'm just going to buff the tip and where my nail meet just to make sure it's more smooth so when I apply the poly gel you won't really see it but I'm not doing acrylic so I just did this just to do it but yeah so now I'm gonna go in with my nail primer and just apply it to my bare nails just to help make sure the poly gel adheres and does not cause any lifting and just prep my nails for the next step so now I'm gonna go in with the gelish foundation and use that as my base coat to help apply the poly gel on top so I'm just applying the foundation to the entire nail and then I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds so now I'm going in with the Maricot nail forms and I'm just going to find all the correct sizes for um, my nails with the dual forms just to make sure that they fit sidewall to sidewall because once they go under the lamp they will shrink a little bit so I'm going to go in with the Maricot clear poly gel and apply a bead onto my nail and then press the dual form on top rather than applying it on the inside and I'm also applying the dual form a quarter from the base of my nail so it looks more natural and I can get a more natural effect then I'm using the clips just to hold it in place I can clean it up and make it look as neat as possible I'm going to do the rest of that for all my nails So I'm gonna go in one more time and just make sure everything is cleaned up before I cure it. And I'm going to take off all the clips before I put it inside the lamp. So I'm curing it for another 60 seconds just to make sure it's cured properly and everything is dry. Now that the nails are done curing, I'm going to pop off the dual forms and just put them to the side because I do reuse my dual forms and just looking at my nails to see how everything looks. So now I'm going to go in back with my e-file and I'm just going to file down my nail, make it as smooth as possible. I'm really focusing the band on the base of my nails and I'm going between my e-file and my hand file. I'm using 180 grits and I'm just making sure everything is smooth and making my shape is perfect because I don't want to fix it. So as you guys can see, my nails are buffed. They are shaped. I'm sure you guys my inspo photo is a white and brown French tip. V, uh, v tip so now I'm going in with the jealous foundation as my base coat just to prep it for the gel polish I'm going to apply on top and I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds <laughs> So 
So now I'm going in with the Amelie 022 Sheer Pink uh, Gel Polish and I'm going to apply two coats of that polish because I just wanted a little bit more pink. I think I could have got away with one coat to be honest, but I did two and between every coat, I cured it for 30 seconds. Another Emily um, gel polish is 011. It is their pure white. I'm going to take a fine nail brush and I'm going to start drawing my V, make it as thin as possible and as clean as possible. I do have my brush and I do dip it in alcohol just to help make the line straighter and then I'm going to use the brush to fill it in. I recommend fill it in with the liner brush then the gel polish brush because it won't like be clumpy at the end. And I'm so sorry guys that my hand is covering me doing the lines. The position I put my camera is really was really bad and you couldn't really see what I was doing but I tried my best and since I wasn't doing, well since I wasn't talking for this look, I literally was so focused on my nails there are times where I actually effed up but I'm just going back in and just making sure the nail polish is just as fine as possible. And I'm just going to cure the polish for 30 seconds. And then after it is cured, we're going to do the other hand. And then I'm going to cure that hand as well for 30 seconds. So now I'm going in with the Meat Across Gel Polish in 245, which is like a warm brown. And I'm just going to apply that to the other side of my nail using the fine brush as well. And I'm going to cure this hand for 30 seconds on both hands actually. And again, apply it with the fine brush. You guys will see me, I go between both. Um, but yeah, make sure you apply it with the fine brush. And as you guys can see, I am drawing the lines and then I'm filling it in because it's actually way easier to do it that way. And yeah. So now I'm going in with the Gelish Top It Off uh, top coat just to seal in all my hard work. And I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds to make sure it is set in good. So now I'm going to take some lint free wipes and some alcohol and just wipe off the sticky layer on my nails from the gel polish. Just going to apply the Ruby Kisses cuticle oil and lemon around my nails to finish off the look. It's 
so these are the finished nails that I did for my birthday I received a lot of compliments with these nails so if you guys enjoyed this look please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one bye